Hello and welcome back here to Fallout 2. Now, I've just chatted to Marcus, who's right over here. And he's gave me a mission. What is the mission that I can do in Broken Hills? It's fine people, right, that I'm missing for Marcus. I can get a nice, decent chunk of XP for that. I've also got this San Francisco thing that I can do. I, I think I can take them on now with, like, um... The old, uh, the, the old power armor and my level, so I should be able to take on the Enclave. I say that with a uh, bated breath, I, I'm not entirely sure. That's a prison. Can I go beyond Marcus? I can. There are, like, other places to go to and people to speak to, so let us get to it. Right, and as always, if you have been enjoying my Fallout 2 playthrough or any of my playthroughs on my channel, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's chat to these friendly super mutants. And then let's chat to these people. Glad to have you in town, huh? It's good to be here. Um. Let's go over here, into the next area. Or maybe not, what's this? Is there someone here of importance? Is there a door anywhere? There is. It's just a bit... Funny with the door, like... See a wall. I think he's locked up for a reason, so let's just leave him locked up. I keep doing this, I keep going backwards and forwards. There might be something in here to check out. There's a guy in there. Oh, that's the doctor guy. I, I recall. Uh, yeah, I've already, I've already talked to these people. <sighs> No, you know what? Let's chat to him again. It's like, what can you tell me about Broken Hills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing, forget it. Let's chat to the other guys. What about this gate? Can I do something with this gate? Jammed shutter. I want to find out where these missing people are so I can actually do some... Uh, get some decent XP. Any gossip? You'd be surprised what people say when they're in pain. Yeah, like what? Surprisingly little. Okay, I've already asked this, this question. I wanted to know if there was anything to give me info on the missing people. But apparently not. So, without further ado, let's go over here. So there's something in there straight away when I've holded, holded when I when I have held down shift. Come here, I promise I won't hurt. Is that a plant that is sentient? Interesting. Right, you know what? Let's just. Open doors to places. Is that a porthole? I can go down here. Ants. Right. I have a flamer, so I can uh, just burst it. It's a lot of ants here. Jeez Louise. Um. That looks like where all the missing people are. They look like they've been destroyed by ants. <laughs> I might have solved the uh, the issue straight away. Burn. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh. Right, I 
really need to um, move away. And then move away again. And burn him. Out of ammo! Did I have to just be out of ammo? I guess I did. Uh, you. I was using you before. What? I missed? Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's forget about this. Let's just do a just single shot. There we go. I'm done. Easy peasy and nice. Uh, single. There we go. Now, 200 XP earned. Let's save up. Save 51. So, 51. Let's continue onwards. Die. Big mistake. Just reload that and just continue onwards. I'm that time now, don't I? Blast him. I'm gonna reload. There we go. I don't know why I'm having a hard time reloading, but I just am. Oh, I see. It's like multiple paths. A lot of ants as well. That pretty much does. They, they don't really do any damage whatsoever, do they? Because they're just pathetic little ants. These ladders go up to all the other houses within this area, I, I would presume. Ugh. Continuing onwards through this cave. Alright, okay. Still quite a few few of them here, then everywhere. Um trying to think how I want to do this. Let's just get those guys up there first. Interesting. Sometimes, even though it's 95% accuracy, you will miss shots now and then. But for the most part, I'm exterminating them. I will whiff a shot here and there, like that. It's going to lead us up there anyways, but I'm just going to go this way round. Get all the little anties that are here. Die. 
God, does everyone remember the beginning of the game when the ants were pretty tough? Not anymore, they ain't. A lot of people say that the, uh, what is it, the Temple of the Trials? The opening to Fallout 2 is like incredibly hard. I didn't find it too particularly challenging. Tiny bit. They say use unarmed skill to punch them and stuff like that. It gives you a better chance at like beating the tutorial, but I felt like with a bit of saving and reloading, uh, like being persistent helped out in the end. Uh. Die ants. Yes. Yes. Ant murder. There's quite a few of you. He's right over here. Bang! And the ant is dead. Whew. Oh, there's some over there. Alright, let's just check this. I've killed every ant in this location. Apart from how many how many is this? Four seven. Seven more ants and then we should be uh, pretty good. Pop Pop Uh come on mouse play with me here, don't play against me. Yeah <laughs> Mouse can be a bit finicky at the best of times. Uh, die. Die. Hello, my man. Ant was killed. Oh, wait one minute. Am I... Oh. Firstly, let's just see if I you gain 500 experience. You see the remains of seven several broken hills, citizens. I can report back to uh, Marcus, I suppose. Can we loot them? I don't think it's. I was gonna say it's pretty bad robbing from the dead, but they might not technically have been killed by the ants. It might be something else. A young woman. Right, I think I've. That's kind of brutal. Uh, I have a suspicion, and again, this is just me. I've never played uh, Fallout 2 ever, but I have a suspicion. That there's something more sinister than this ant going on here. Like, uh, maybe, you know, someone's killed them and made it look like it was the ants. Let's just see this. A note from Francis. Uh, Zaius? Marcus isn't doing anything about that mutant hating Jacob and his damn conspirators. First, they disable our air purifier. And then what, I found their secret meeting tunnels, I figured a body or two down there could implicate Jacob. Jacob, if you want in, let me know. And burn the damn note this time. Signed, Francis. Right, okay. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna give this to Marcus and he can uh, say, yep, this is bullshit. Mystery solved. It was this Francis fella.
Go that way. Climb the ladder. Chosen. Right, let's report back to Marcus. Because, you know, we can. Uh, before we do that, let's make another save. Because I usually always do that around now. Uh, save 52. Something else you wanted? Uh, I had something I wanted to tell you. Yeah. What? About the missing people. Yeah. What? I found those missing people. They're in the tunnels beneath the city. They're dead? Damn. I'll tell the families myself. Oh, hey, I, I know you said you'd do this for free, but take this as our thanks. Sure. So I got a rifle, huh? Uh, let's see the rifle. Oh, snap. <sighs> it takes full metal jacket, huh? And it's scoped. Oh! Oh, that's going to be great for, like, shooting at, like, long distances. Undoubtedly. That's going to be really well good, actually. Something else you wanted? Yeah? What? I'll show you this Something note. Something else you wanted? Oh, what sinkhole are you from? Muties and... Something else you wanted? More trouble with me? Uh, there's too much going on right now. When things calm down, then I just might. All right, bye. <laughs> Who's this Francis person? I guess I have to sort this out myself. Firstly, eh, it's an all right amount of weight. Metal door. Who is this? Come in already. Close the door behind you and don't let in the flies. Are you shouting at me? Sorry, just a little on edge. All these damn flies and no air conditioning. If just that I had a little more power, I'd be able to shake them. But I don't. Who are you? I'm Eric. I used to run the hotel in town, but I had to sell it because of my fry problem. I ran in. I ran to the tavern, but uh, but had to get out of that too for the same reason. Finally, I used I used to run the generator, but flies kept getting into it. That's an awful lot of jobs. I have more questions. I can barter with this man. This ghoul. Um, let's just throw this down on the table. Uh, trade it for what? This. It's not really worth the trade, is it? Not at this point. Where do the flies come from? They come here because, for some odd reason, I extrude fly nutrients. My body is rich with food for them, and this sweating just makes it worse. All right, that's why I need an air conditioner or something like that. Aircon. I'm not gonna kill him. Uh, that's just plain nasty. Why not take a bath or something? Never tried that. I tried. Oh, he, he, but I, my brain instantly went to never. I tried that. I tried everything. The only thing that keeps the flies off me now nah, is not what the thing that keeps the flies off me is not to sweat. And when I don't have enough power to keep cool, I can't. Where's the power generator? There's a power generator station downtown that controls the power to the city. If you just go there and get 
permission to give me a little more energy for my air conditioning, I'll be grateful. Yeah, I'll do it for you. I can't, tell you how, I can't tell you how grateful I am to you. Please let me know as soon as you're done so I can turn the air conditioning and take a bath. Who are you? Uh, I know about this. So long. Right, let's just try and go back to the generator guy and just ask really politely, like, can you turn the power on for this dude? This Eric. So I believe he is called. Ah! The other question. Where is the power generator? Is it in here? It is. It's this guy over here, isn't it? What do you want? Say, so Eric asked me to adjust the power uh, ration to his house. He said that he's sweating too much. Eric wants more power? Eric can't have more power. This is a very delicate balance of energy we run through here. And if Eric gets more power, then the hospital shuts down, or the lights, or the main. We can't have that. Okay, okay. Um. <sighs> if this machine is run on uranium slugs you have more than enough power to fill this place a new reno and not even notice the drain now cough it up oh sure technically that's true but but nothing you're just lazy get a move on you don't have to be mean about it he ducks his head and turns a dial there please tell him to stop complaining now Uh, shake it up there. You're all hot, big guy. That was that was easier than I expected, and I got XP for it. So much XP that I'm just like, how far am I? Eight thousand. Well, seven. Seven thousand away from choosing my next perk. Hooray! Huzzah! Uh, let us continue onwards in my steel armor. Eric, Eric, I have done it. You're saved. You're done with the generator? Thank you so, so much. I can't even begin to describe how grateful I am. Don't. Don't then. I'm fine with your thanks. Oh? Oh shit, he's, he's actually gave me a bit of information. Uh, then I'm doubly grateful. Oh, I hear you're looking for a gek. Try asking around in NRC. It's to the south. Oh, great. He's, he's actually gave me the location of uh, the new California Republic. Thanks. Bye. Ah, oh, Welshoft. Oh, Eric. Eric, he's my boy. Even though he's a ghoul, he's my boy. He's one of the boys to me. Love you long time. Anyways, uh, let's see what's going on with... What's going on with these guys? Um, what's going on with the rest of this uh, town? Why won't Marcus come and help us out? Huh? Maybe if I help out enough of the locals, he might actually join my team. Don't have anything against mutants, but they look so funny looking. But they're so funny looking. It's because the skin's melted off. How ignorant do you have to be? <sighs> Don't die. Uh, you do you think Nurino would be a good place to live? No, I've never been. Stop asking me about Nurino. Oh my god. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got hold on shift. Why is that? I think I actually went to pick that up, whatever that is. Um, 
This is just me itching my eyeball for a little bit. It's a picture. Of what? What's this? Fuzzy Payton. An image of a singer, obviously. Very old. The image has a felt coating that is still in good condition. It weighs 12 pounds. <sighs> Looks like Elvis the King. Shitful I uh, no, it might be the King. I know that they put in a lot of like Easter eggs into Fallout 1 and 2. Just little winks and nods at like other games and franchises, like pop culture wise and stuff like that. Is that a domestic Rad Scorpion? What is it you want? Out with it, I'm a busy man. That's Barter. Can't bother with him. Who are you and what's with the Scorpion? And the Professor. I need to belch. <clears throat> what do I. What I do is applied intelligent testing. I create chemical compounds that increase intelligence. I'm trying it out on some of the random scorpions here. After my failure with the plant. Oh, the plant can talk. Can the scorpion talk? You tried it out on a plant? Of course I tried it out on a plant. I'm trying to increase intelligence from the ground up. I don't know, Doc. Intelligent scorpions. It might be the end of us. I see. Have you made anything that works? Yes, I have. Thank you very much. Have you ever heard of Mentaps? He made Mentaps. I helped develop a method for easy mass production of that chem and others. Lots of others. All right, all right. Say, I like to try out my skill against your scorpion. You wish to take a test? Huh? Do you want to take a test? Of your maximum dexterity, your perception, or your intelligence. Uh, how about my smarts? Chess with the scorpion. Yep, okay. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. Are you checkmating me? Lost to scorpion. Alright, enough with the scorpion. <laughs> I was actually slightly annoyed by that. A bloody scorpion beat me. What is the world coming to? Where are you? What do you want? What are you doing in my house? I want to buy stuff. Do you have stuff? Do you have stuff? Is a picture of the king. It's exactly 300. I need to find this Francis guy, actually. Right, he asked me who I am. I'm Max. Very great, great. Pleased to meet you. He looks distracted. Hey, look. You're a venturing type, right? Yes. The reason I ask, you see, is because my wife is missing and I don't know where she is. She's been gone for days. I've asked around town and no one has seen her. Uh, can you find her for me? I look around. What does she look like? Oh, God. Okay. She's blonde, sexy, and has the most incredible singing voice. I last saw her walking around this area. She didn't like mutants or girls. She wouldn't have... Be near any of them. Nobody knows where she went. It's just. It, it's like she just disappeared. That should be enough. Well, there's one person who. Um, it's over here, right? Who's like, I find them weird because I'm a complete. And, uh, uh, well, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> She's intolerant to uh, mutants. It's her. Did he say she was blonde? I can't remember for the life of me. I actually can't remember for the life of me. What he said about her. Let's just go on her.
Have you found her? My heart aches with every moment. Yeah, I found her. You found her? His eyes light up. Where? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I found a group of dead people in the tunnels below the city. She was one of them. I'm sorry. Thank you for telling me. I got experience, though. So, <laughs> you know, it worked out in the end. Thank you for telling me. I think I have to go cry. Oh, oh, this could... Oh, right, okay. So, I found a letter on your wife. It indicates that she may have been part of a conspiracy to kill the mutants in Broken Hills. Oh my god, I, I can't believe that. It's not... Sighs deeply. I suppose it may be true. She seemed to hate every mutant and ghoul she came in, into contact with. I never knew why. Be that as it may, you may want to consider that the murderers might not stop with your wife. If she's implicated, you may be as well. You don't mean to say that my life is in danger too? Oh dear. You may be right. I've been hearing noises outside my house at night. Whispers and scuffles. Maybe a good idea to... It might be a good idea to leave. Watch your back. Good luck. Scuffles at night. Right, okay. Um, with that knowledge and information, I'm going to actually... Save up. And... <laughs> hit the wrong key again. And... Pick to night time. Midnight, to be more precise. doesn't seem to be anyone so I'm gonna reload that <laughs> my mistake right let's start at the bottom right over here this guy's house are you the murderer Someone is. What would it be like to live in New Reno? Probably a hellish nightmare. Oh, get in there. Who are you? You're the new guy in town, but. Hmm. Fuel for the thing, huh? This guy's Francis. I got a note. I got a note with your name on it. I found on a dead woman's tunnels. Would you care to comment? Hey, I just received the note. Go talk to Francis about it, alright? He's the one who wrote it. Alright, see ya. Which one is Francis? I don't know. It's not telling me, but... <laughs> Let's check this house first before I go tango with them. Because it's going to be bad either way. Some guy's hungry. Get in there. I'm long past the days of actually like looting this the houses and stuff like that because I have I have money and I think 
I'm only going to need money, really. Well, to buy ammo, for one. But also to... Um, look at this talking plant. I'm also going to be buying, like, upgrades to my uh, stats with... Uh, with uh, Where is it? This stuff. Uh, that stuff. So there's, there's three more of these chips in the wasteland. Uh, memory modules. So there's four in all. I have to find the other three. <laughs> and for that, I need to look at a guide, because... Shit if I know. I, I can't remember exactly where all of them are. 53. Alright, Mr. Plant. Nice weather we've been having, huh? <laughs> I'm talking to a plant. Do you have anything to barter? Probably not, because you're just a plant. Are you connected with that science? Are you connected with the scientist in any way? Oh yes, the professor. I grew, he grew me from a tiny spore and nurtured, nurtured me, shall I say? But I realised from a, I realised from an early age that if I were to act as smart as I truly am, he cut me to pieces to examine me. So I played dumb and got planted out here. It's nice, but I like to branch out a little, you know? Maybe get planted somewhere else? Right. What do you want? I'm looking for a better place to be. Right here is nice and all, but frankly, these plants aren't much for conversation. I was thinking over there, by the building with all the ghouls in it. Would you replant me? Sure. This might backfire, and it might become like a killer plant, huh? Delightful! Very... Delightful? I'm very, very pleased. Just find yourself a shovel and come back. When you're done, maybe I can tell you, uh... Tell you a secret, my friend. I hope to continue to flower. Uh, right. So long. So is that like a permanent quest in Broken Hills? Because it will require me to get a shovel and come back. I heard that I should have always had a shovel, but I never went back to it. Anyways, uh, that's that. Let us chat to these mutants over here. This can be very bad. I think this might go very badly, so uh, let's just save it up again. As you do. Safety saves all around. Let's chat. What do you want? Uh. Uh. What do you do around her? What's there to do? Well, the mind shut because we haven't had the purifier, haven't got the air purifier that works. There's the saloon, there's the caravan, the caravanners. And there's the general store, that's about it. Wait, what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about the mine. If you think you could help out the mine, go to talk to Zanus. I think that's Zanus, right? He's usually the uh, foreman. In the foreman's hut outside the mine, he's in a bad mood because the air purifier is, is being shut down. Anything else? Yeah. Who are you? Just one of the miners. Want someone important? Yes. The movers and shakers in town are Marcus, who's kind of the mayor and sheriff. Uh, Zonus Chad, who runs the caravan. Phil the bartender and the leader of the ghouls. I have all I need to know about those guys. Who are you? I think they might just say the entire same thing, you know. Oh shit. No. No. Who are you? It's one of the miners. Bye. They're all just one of the miners. I want to know where this blue guy is. Where's this Francis? Where is he?
Tell me. Tell me now! You know, I knew those bastards. Th those, those bastards. Frank, Mason, Jacob, and... Lean. Had it out for us. We're done, so... Uh, go talk to Francis about it, alright? He's the one who wrote it. I don't know where this guy is. Where is this guy? What can you tell me about the town? I'm the best person to talk... to talk to about that would be Marcus over at the bank or Steve, greeter at the town. Uh, alright, thanks. How are things? I have to say, they're alright. Still, they could always be better. Thanks for the information. You get along with the humans? You get along alright with the humans. Well, as the mutants are not only getting old and senile, the gas keeps them young. Oh, wait, what the hell is... Why is my brain just like went into a knot by saying that sentence? Well, as the mutants are not only getting old and senile, the gas keeps them young or something. I have to say, things are pretty good. I mean, we don't want to kill everyone. And as far as I can tell, the humans don't think too poorly of us. Of course, that's not only the humans from the other places around her now. There's some bastards. Oh, okay, right, whatever. I... Where is Francis? Is it you? No. Who is Francis? This is a good question to be asking. Is it a guy in here? That's Francis. Right, okay. I found a note in the tunnels with the names Francis and Xanus on it. Looks like you've been committing some crimes. Damn it! Zanus left notes lying out again, eh? Well, human, let me tell you this. I know there are people trying to kill mutants in this town, and I knew that Marcus would only arrest them with evidence. I just wanted to make it happen with a, as little bloodshed as possible. So you killed innocents, huh? Innocents? Ha! The people I killed were trying to kill me. I just returned the favour. I made sure their deaths served another purpose. One that might further the cause of peace. Oh damn, okay. What do I choose her? The only thing that satisfied the cause of peace is for the most high, and you're gonna do and I'm going to do my part by killing you. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. But the, but this way, you're still nothing more than a criminal and a murderer. And I only have the word that there's a conspiracy. If you talk to some of the people in town about your hatred of mutants, you'll find out more about the conspiracy. I... No, two wrongs don't make a right, but I called it self-defense. I did nothing. I did something wrong, and I admit it. I can't stay here. I set out to find a way to atone for my actions to satisfy your senses of justice. It will have to do. I gain experience. And he's went to town. And I'm just gonna go to the mine. Let us, uh. 
I don't have a shovel. Wait, 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 wait. I think the general store has a shovel, so let's just go to the general store. I know it's a lot of backwards and forwards. This is the Broken Hills episode, I get it. But this is my first time playing Fallout 2, so bear with me as I get my bearings. General store, please be a shovel in the general store, please, please, please. I ain't selling to you, get out of my store. Why is she not selling to me? Phew, well, I can just... I'm done. She didn't have a shovel anyways. Biatch. <clears throat> hey man, do you have a shovel? Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be one of those, isn't it, where I just don't know who has a shovel and who doesn't. Click that. Oh, wait. Hey, Eric's really happy in his nice, cool house. And I noticed the power hasn't failed across the city. You mean? Yep, bye. Now tell me, guys, does anyone have a shovel? A shovel. I need one. I need a shovel. Is that a... <gasps> Give me. 51. I was just gonna give him a big dark off weapon, but it's only 51 caps, so let's just click 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 There we go. There we go, fair trade. Uh Who are you? Thanks bye. Don't care about doing the caravan stuff. I have a car. Don't need to do caravan stuff. Right. The plant and then the mines. And they call it a mine. A mine! Now, this plant said he was more dangerous than he let on to the uh, the doctor. Oh, maybe I should just go talk to the geneticist about that, actually. <laughs> Before I actually plant him somewhere else. Because he might be very dangerous. I don't know. What's more dangerous than that guy? Maybe the scorpion who could beat me at chess. Uh, doctor, doctor, doctor. What do you want? What do you want again? He has nothing to say about that. He's a pretty, uh, he's a pretty cool scorpion, that guy. Right, it's the plant. I am back to save you from the boredom of that, and hopefully you don't become a complete prick and asshole. Uh, my friend, has the sun been shining upon you? How does your day flower? Oh, he's actually quite a gent, or. Uh, lady, I don't know the sex of a plant. Shit, I actually don't know that in real life. Like, uh, are they just unisexed? They just basically, they flower, don't they? And then the seeds spread and then they grow again. The next generation of their plant. Yeah, whatever. Fine fellow. I'm just going to call him a fellow. Uh, are you ready to move me? I certainly am. Let's go. I'm so excited I could release a spore cloud all over myself. Let's go! Uh, slightly disgusting. Oh, the soil here feels so different. Cleaner somehow. Probably because it doesn't ha I don't have to share it with those other plants. Oh, yes. And... <laughs> Whoa, what is that? If you ever run across the Professor and the Scorpion, remember this chess maneuver. It's called the flying liver attack. Scorpion cannot stand against it. Thanks. Let's just use that against him. I gain experience, but I can gain more experience. Finally, the scorpion, my nemesis. 
the rematch is here. I'll take the test. We should take a test. Uh, I want the smarts. It's called Jess. Yep, I'm ready. Ha! What the? Now who's a sore loser? I love that, the fact that like the scorpion reverts to violence. Hostile creatures? What? No, not the doctor. Well, he's a bit of a sore loser. How, how could you kill my scorpion like that? I was close, so close. Sorry, he tried to attack me. I'm just gonna not reload that, I'm just gonna keep that the same as it is. Besides, I probably did humanity a favor. Super intelligent uh, rad scorpions might have been a bad thing for humans. Ah, oh, my friend, you have returned. It's quite a delightful place here. The shade is perfect, and the company is simply dazzling. That's Typhoon. Typhoon? What a kidder. He really, really makes my intellect sap flow. <laughs> okay. What was that you mentioned about chess? Yeah. Appreciate the information, Bar. Right, let's go to um, Zanus. <laughs> let's go to Zanus and see about reopening this mine. I knew Francis couldn't handle exposure. He knew the risks of what he did, but I guess he didn't figure on ever being caught. He'll be all right eventually. I hope the same will be true of Broken Hills. Yeah, me too, you know, in a kind of way. I do too. I hope so too. I have some questions. You know, I knew those bastards, all right, those guys, and uh, had it out for us. Well done, so. I hear you're having trouble with mine. Our air purifier is broken. It's on the bottom level. We got no parts. We got no protective equipment without parts. We can't fix it without the protection. The radon gas nails us. You are. Are you any good with your hands? I'm alright. Really? Would you do it for me? And more importantly, for Broken Hills? Sure, I'll do it. Great, you need parts. The parts, of course. Go to New Reno, look for Renesco. He's got tools laying about his shop. Tell him Zanus sent you. Tell him that I said the canaries kicked the bucket. I don't know where to get protective equipment for, from for the gas. I suppose you're going to have to go in without it, but you'll be hurting again. Thank you. No problem, bye. I think I'm done with Broken Hills for now. I need to go to New Reno and get a part from some dude. Um, P. <laughs> P. P. Uh, I've already dealt with the people of Redding. Killed the one of the brothers, right? Fixed the air purifier. Just other things as well, so Gecko's power plant problems. There's so many things that like I, I that this game is offering me and it's getting a little bit overwhelming but uh, I'll try and persist onwards and uh, break through to the other side you know right I'm gonna chat to this Marcus guy and uh, he's probably not gonna join us because he's gonna be like we need to like have uh, the mine fixed something else you wanted You want to travel with me? Uh, there's too much going on right now. When things calm down, then I just might. Bah. Right, I guess I'm off to New Reno. Uh, but first, let me just... Uh... Right, what have I got on my person? Got... 
a few useless items that I've just got a shitload of ammo for, so I've got that, got that, got that. Let's put all the shells back. Put that in there. You know what? I'm actually gonna. Should I do it? Should I actually do it? Oh yeah, I gotta get that into. Um... I gotta fix. I gotta fix the purifier. So I think I've done everything in Reading. I gotta fix the purifier in Broken Hills. I've got to send that data tape to some people in um, Vault City. I've got to fix the power plant for the guys in Gecko, um, Harold. To put, I'm put, I'm actually putting the plasma rifle away and the ammo for it. And I'm taking out the full metal jacket. Now the question. This is my question, which gun is more powerful? This one? The other one? Because I'm not sure, you know? Um, is there like a damage stat? Strength, minimum strength 5. Minimum strength 5. Right, let's, see, let's just see about this. So, can I... Let's just drop the ammo out of it. So they're definitely full metal jacket ammo. Uh, right. So it's modified pistol. So it's a rifle that's been modified down to a pistol. With love and skill. Right, so if I was like minus five strength, I could still use it, but it would be pretty shitty to use. For better than uh, seeing a surprise look on a target's face. The loophole time 20 scope on this on rifle makes it easier than before. Accelerated from first shot to last, no matter what's going on. Kind of game you're going for. What? I think I'm gonna put that away, the Blade Runner gun, and just keep the hunting rifle. Is this done for as well? It's not done for yet. It still has a bit of ammo in it. Right, okay. So I think that's that's good. Let's get in the car. Which has a bit of power left. Now have I unlocked... I have unlocked the NRC. Where's the NRC? It's right there, New California Republic. Ah, uh, you know what? Decisions, decisions, what should I do, what should I do, what should I do? So, essentially, if I go over here... Navarro... I need to get the, the vertebrate plants for Navarro. To get, gain access to uh, San Francisco. Want to gain access to San Francisco? At the, uh, the Brother of Steel, I can use those data chips. Um, I'm actually... What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Go to New Reno. Go to Navarro. Because as I say, as I was saying before, I have to get certain parts for Gecko and Vault City and stuff like that. Uh, I feel like Vault City and the NRC are places to go to progress the plot. Not so much San Francisco. I don't know. It's my first time playing. Anyways, I'm actually going to leave that choice until next time. So let's just say downtown. And, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make a decision next time. So if you have enjoyed, uh, please do like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back next time with more of Fallout 2. So until then, bye for now.